Hello and welcome to this How to Spy Multiple Browser Windows at the Same Time video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you'll learn how to spy multiple browser windows at the same time. You'll also learn to create a process to spy multiple browser windows, as well as objects to support that process. Blue Prism uses a native messaging host application to communicate with the browser extension. A native messaging host application is started behind the scenes when a browser is launched from Blue Prism and then listens for any incoming messages from Blue Prism to send them to the browser extension. Native messaging host removes the need to manually define port settings and acts as an intermediary between the browser and Blue Prism. In order to spy multiple browser windows at the same time, we will create the following. An object in the Object Studio for each of the browser windows we will be spying. And a process in the Process Studio that will attach to the browsers and navigate to specific tabs on each. Now we'll go to Process Studio and look at the process that allows us to spy multiple browser windows at the same time. The first action attaches to the BBC News website. The second action attaches to the Sky News website. The third navigates to click the Sports tab on the BBC News site. And the last action will click the Climate tab on the Sky News website. Now watch the process run and see how the two web browsers are affected. As the process runs, the first action is to attach to the BBC News website before attaching to the Sky News website. The Sports tab has been selected on the BBC website, and on the Sky News website, it has selected the Climate tab. This is an example of spying multiple browser windows at the same time. Now that we've looked at the process for spying two browsers, let's look at the Object Studio and the objects that we will need to create in order to spy multiple browsers at the same time. You will need to create an object that will spy the website that you want to attach to. In this example, we are going to spy the BBC News website. Let's open our object and look at the pages you will need to define to spy this browser. Our object will have an attach action, a click element action, along with a detach action. The first thing we'll do is use the application modeler to connect to the BBC News website, and then we can define the elements we want to interact with. Click the application wizard button to define your application. We'll call this object BBC News. Next, we'll select the third option, browser-based application. We will select the option for a browser which is already running. Here, you will enter the page name that you wish to spy. Make sure to look at the tab to make sure you get the correct page name. On the next page, make sure the file path pointing to your Chrome executable is correct. We will leave this page blank and click the Next button, and then finish our application modeler. With our screens side by side, we will attach the browser and identify the elements. Next, we're going to spy the Sports tab element. Let's select Element and rename it Sports tab. And click the Identify button. If we click Identify now, Blue Prism can start interacting with the website. So if you select the Sports tab and Control click, the attributes for the Sports tab are now returned into the Application Modeler. Click Apply and then Highlight to double check that you have spied the correct element. The next step in our workflow is the Navigate action, which we will use to attach our BBC home page. We give it a title and we drag our BBC News element into the expression and we select Attach from the drop-down action. In the window title, 
we are going to be sure to write the name of the home page that we want to attach to. Notice the attach in the toolbar is bold. This lets us know that we are not currently attached to the BBC News site. Let's run our process and check that it does attach. The next page is our click element page. Here, we're going to start with a wait stage to check to make sure our tab exists. Always put an exception stage to catch any exceptions. If our tab exists, we're going to use a navigate stage with the action click to select our tab. Let's open the property box for our wait stage. We're going to use the sports tab as our element. From the drop down box for a condition, we're going to choose check exists and then we're going to click OK. Next we have a navigate action which will actually click the sports tab on the browser. Let's open our navigate action. Give it a good name and a description and in here we're going to use a sports tab again as the element so click and drag the sport element across to our expression. Our action from the drop down, we're going to select click and then OK. Make sure all the links are connected down to the end stage. We're going to refresh and then run our action page and notice that the sports tab is clicked on the browser. You will need to create an identical object, but spying the Sky News website and clicking the Climate tab. Follow the previous steps to complete this action. Now that we have our objects created, let's go back to our process on how to spy multiple browser windows. Here you can see the four actions we looked at in the beginning. The first action allows us to select our BBC News object that we just created along with the attach action page that we created. The second action allows us to select our Sky News object and also the attach action page that you've created on the Sky News object. This will attach to the Sky News browser. The third action in our process will navigate to the BBC website and click the sports tab so we choose the click element action page that we created for BBC News object. And then our final action will do the same for Sky News. We can select the click element action page that will click the climate tab on the Sky News website. Finally, we can watch the process run again, knowing the objects and action pages that we needed to create in order to run it successfully. It is attaching to the BBC and Sky News and clicking the Sports tab and the Climate tab. I hope you have found this how-to video useful in spying multiple windows using native messaging host application in Blue Prison 7. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about spying multiple browser windows, or any other part of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Also visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions.